All right, look what I have here. New K1 extruder, which if you saw my last video uh, and saw my comment today, earlier today, because I, I got an email from Creality saying that, uh, you know, so initially they were going to, they made it sound like they were going to send me a new printer. And I was like, okay, well, at least if you can't send me a, an extruder in any reasonable amount of time, at least if you're going to send me a new printer, that's pretty generous and uh, good. And when will I receive that? And that was like uh, last Friday and I didn't hear anything back. And geez, I don't make this too easy to open. Um, uh, and, uh, so I didn't hear anything back until today. So today I get an email and it says, uh, we're going to send you a return shipping label to send your printer back. And I was like, screw that. I'm not gonna... I thought they were going to just send me a new printer, which I thought was above and beyond. But I was like, okay, because they, they, they sounded very sympathetic to my uh, plight in that I was one of the first adopters and had not received an upgraded extruder. And it was going to take, they said, at least 7 to 15 days and that was like a week ago. And so I was kind of putting up a stink like, hey, you know, I was an early adopter and you're selling new units with new extruders in it. And uh, why shouldn't uh, shouldn't the early adopters get get uh, stuff that works before new sales? And anyway, so I got the email today saying that they that they were going to send a shipping label eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very disappointed, and so I I replied to them quite angrily. Uh, I mean, I didn't totally go off, but I was definitely not very happy. And um, so anyway, uh, then this afternoon, this uh, I it said I had a DHL shipment coming, and I was wondering, I'm like, oh, geez, what is that? It can't, it's got to be too quick for the heated print bed that's supposed to be coming, and. And I was like, I don't even know what's going to show up. Turns out it was this. So I don't know why they told me it was going to take at least 7 to 15 days. I don't even think it took 7 days. Um, and so I can see already that it's a little different. Like this, you can see on this piece here, this is machining marks. Whereas the other one is very shiny um, and smooth. And so I think... <laughs> what is my dog doing? <laughs> Doug came halfway up the stairs, changed his mind, he's going back down the stairs. But he's having a hard time because he's elderly. Hopefully he doesn't fall down the stairs. Anyway, um, so yeah, the other the other one I think was like a die cast or something. And so this seems to be machined. I uh, wish I had a magnet up here. I have a million mag... Oh! Ah! This, this uh, old screwdriver evidently is magnetic. I thought this was a cheap old screwdriver, but I guess uh, maybe not. But that's actually sticking a little bit, so that tells me uh, there's some steel in there. And so that's good, and hopefully it will be better than the previous one, which was which started off great. I was extremely happy with this printer for a long time until I started to get under extrusion issues, and it took me a while of chasing it to, to determine, based on what, you know, what I found on the internet and things, that, that the uh, extruder design was flawed. And so I was going to put this on tonight, but it's pretty late. It's like 10 at night and by the time I was getting around to it. And so I'm just going to wait until tomorrow. I have a pretty flexible schedule anyway. Work from home. So at some point I will tomorrow throw this in. I don't know what this thing is. Uh, the filament guide or something? Okay, so there was a hole. Where was that hole? All right, yeah, so there's a hole here. So evidently I don't want to shove it in there just in case, but evidently that goes in there. Snaps in there, I guess, I imagine. Although, uh, well, anyway, I'll figure it all out tomorrow. And maybe I'll do a, I'll record it and post it. And we'll do a test print. And we'll see how it goes. But uh, ultimately, I'm happy. My faith in Creality has been restored yet again. Uh, because this actually didn't take as long as they said. I was very, I was very distraught with them because they said it was going to take so long. And it didn't take that long, so not a big deal other than they made me sweat it and then sent it quickly instead. So anyway, to reiterate, um, I told them I had an error code that the first week I had an error code on the on the hot end 
and they sent me a new nozzle immediately, very quickly. They sent me a new print bed very quickly. They sent me this, it was pretty quickly. And there's also on the way is a, an entire heated bed assembly uh, because I got one error and now it prints fine. And so they're good about sending parts, not the best communicators, but good at sending parts. Oh, and I might as well add, so this thing, I, th I believe this is for um, to a thermal insulation gasket. And so it goes in between the extruder and the hot end. Um, and so I'm sure this is a low thermal conductivity material, maybe G10. It's very stiff. G10 is like a fiberglass used in electronics and a lot of applications and prototyping and things for like aerospace prototyping. We use this stuff a lot. Um, although it was ours was much thicker, usually. We usually did like 60 thou. This stuff seems to be about, I don't know, to 10, 15, 20 thou. Yeah, so a millimeter is 40, and so, yeah, maybe this is 20, 25 thou thick, half, half a millimeter or so. Um, so, interesting stuff. We'll throw it in there tomorrow, and we'll see. We'll print something good, because I, it's funny, I, may, I had so many bad prints uh, that, that were, they were okay looking, but they were under extruded, and so they were, just weren't functional, because the they would just peel apart. So it'll be interesting to get back to the previous testing that I was doing and, and move on to other things. Uh, so yeah, happy news. Uh, so like, and subscribe. Um, appreciate it if you did and uh, comment if you have any questions, any requests, anything you'd like to see me print, anything you'd like to see me design, um, Questions about design engineering, questions about CAD, questions about 3D printing. Oh, you know what else I just bought? Uh, I might have mentioned it in the last video. You may not have seen it. I bought, <laughs> it's funny. I was saying it was a Voron, and I was just kind of assuming it was a Voron, I guess. So there's a channel, VZBot, I think his name is. YouTube channel, VZBot. And he's always doing the super high-speed Core XY uh, printing and and he's all constantly pushing the envelope and making these he's got this crazy billet aluminum gantry and four he calls it all-wheel drive because there's four motors uh driving the core xy and so it's it's really a badass machine and so i saw i saw that you could buy it off he's affiliated with some seller on aliexpress and um and so I had been debating, and I was going to get a K1 Max, and then I was so annoyed by this uh, extruder issue, and they weren't going to expedite it. And so I ultimately I canceled my K1 Max order, um, and decide and decided I would go a different way instead of uh, buying something with with consumable extruders. And um, hopefully that's fixed. But uh, so I was thinking about a Bamboo Labs. Not a big fan of the terms of service aggression and. Uh, and so I was going to go like Voron or Rat Rig or something like that. And and I knew I had seen this guy and I saw that his were for sale. And so I, I, I pulled the trigger on that. So it's, uh, I think it's not technically a Voron. I'm not even sure if it's his own spinoff of a Voron. I'm going to have to do more investigation. So I realized after, I'm like, nowhere does it say Voron. So, or that I noticed. So um, we'll see how happy I am with it. Um it, I think I do have to print my own parts, but a bunch of nice aluminum parts and motors and things is supposed to be all concluded with it. And uh, it's supposed to be really high performance. Uh, the bed goes up to 120 degrees. Uh, strangely, it didn't say what temperature the hot end went up to, but it's got to be at least 300 if the bed's 120, right? Like, why would the bed go up to 120 if the if the extruder didn't go up, the, up high? Um so uh, we will see. Actually, one thing I th I'm think just occurred to me. I see a bunch of this video. The guy's talking about his secret uh, secret sauce PLA that he prints at super high speeds with. And so I'm wondering how, if, if I'll have problems with my uh, PLA at speed. But uh, anyway, maybe I have to upgrade upgrade my uh, near 100 rolls of <laughs> filament and get some uh, hyper PLA type stuff. I have a little bit of it, but. Uh, have to get some more anyway good stuff uh yeah like i say do all that youtube stuff like subscribe ring the bell uh comment and uh hope you like the videos and uh, i'll see you next time